Here, we will show you how synthetic monitoring can help the engineering team at the e-commerce site Shopis give their customers the best possible user experience. After learning that issues had made their way to production previously, the team wants to make sure that their checkout flow functions as intended through monitoring proactively so that the business and customer experience don't get impacted. To do that, the engineering and SRE team decide to monitor their checkout experience using a synthetic browser test. Let's quickly take a look at how they can set that up in Datadog. Creating a browser test in Datadog couldn't be easier for the team. They can begin by simply providing a start URL, giving the test a name, and selecting which browsers, device types, and locations they want to run their test from. If they don't see a location that they want under our managed locations, they can easily set up their own private location to monitor from another vantage point or monitor any internal facing applications. They can also set up their desired test frequency, alerting conditions, and permissions below. We integrate with popular communication tools like PagerDuty and Slack for alerting notifications. Once we have the basics taken care of, we can hit save and edit recording. After installing our browser add-on, they can click start recording. With the Codeless Web Recorder, we automatically track all interactions across our web application with the ability to add assertions at each step. Datadog's multi-locator algorithm ensures that their tests are self-healing and that they wouldn't be alerted to false positives, such as styling or placement changes for their web components. Once the test is scheduled to run, the team can check out the test details page to see all their test runs. Customers can view sample runs to inspect test failures in more detail. They can see information for site performance metrics, such as largest contentful paint and content layout shift within the sample test run, and see which steps are displaying page front-end errors. Because the team has instrumented their services and application with Datadog APM, they can click into a trace to pivot over to take a closer look at the relevant metrics, traces, and logs to identify where issues are coming from. If we take a look at this particular trace and quickly follow the error breadcrumbs, we can see that the payment service is reporting a 503. The engineering team can now focus on fixing the payment service availability. Coupling APM with synthetic monitoring is a great way to expedite troubleshooting and reduce mean time to resolution. Of course, application stability doesn't just depend on the front end code. To keep an eye on the uptime of their underlying services, they can run API tests for specific endpoints or full API scenarios. Similar to how easy it was to set up a browser test, API tests are also quick and easy to set up. We support a variety of protocols, offering testing from the network layer through to the application layer. Let's quickly walk through the process of creating an HTTP request on Shopis. Similar to before, they need to input some basic information to get started. After launching the API call, we display a sample result and fill out basic assertions. They can further modify assertions like status code, response content, or response time to ensure this endpoint meets their defined thresholds. They can also customize locations, test frequency, and alerting conditions. Once they're done, just click Create. Similar to the browser test results, they're able to see which tests passed and fail, as well as global uptime metrics and quickly pivot to the other products like APM. Now, their engineering leadership wants to reflect on the performance of their tests and see if there are areas of improvement that could be made. They can create an SLO to track their website's uptime based on their test results and add the SLO widget to any of the out-of-the-box dashboards. Currently, we offer three out-of-the-box dashboards for synthetic monitoring an API, browser, and overall summary dashboard. With these dashboards, you can get a bird's eye view into your test suite, the ability to compare performance across geographies and devices, and test usage insights by teams, environments, or regions. Lastly, our test coverage page uses browser data collected from real user monitoring, or RUM, and compares it with synthetic browser test results to provide insights about the overall testing coverage of your applications so that you can identify any gaps in your test coverage. As you saw in this demo, it's easy to be proactive about application issues and prevent them from occurring. 